Hey, 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 what's up, you amazing hackers? I hope you're all doing well today. So, who's up for some jolly collaborations? This website, findhunters.com, is amazing, guys. Let me tell you why right now. So, let's say you're hunting and you're only just getting started or you have a little bit of experience, but you come across this bug or vulnerability or even weird behavior that you don't understand. Or even if you're just honing your skills and you want to see how other people hunt. Collaborations are freaking amazing, guys. You'll never learn as much as when you collaborate with somebody else. Trust me. So, to make this easier, this amazing person on Twitter, his link will be in the description below, has created a website called findhunters.com. Thank you so much for creating this for us because my god that we need this guys now what's so cool about this is that you can look for specific people who are also looking to work together who are also looking to collaborate and you can do that in specific ways this is the page that you're going to come to as you first enter the website so you can sign up and you can create your own profile and in your profile you can enter some stuff like your hacker one handle your buck route handle yes we hack handle and integrity handle a little bit of a biography if you wish the more you have in here the better i always say because it will help other hunters judge you a little bit and it will help speed up finding good collaborations because that's what it's all about not just working together but doing it in a quality way now, when we look at the collaborations that are at the front page, we can, for example, sort by specific platform. If we want to look for somebody on Yes, We Hack, we can do that. Integrity, Hacker One, no problem. We can sort on Message, which is a little bit less useful in my opinion, but we can also sort on the total estimated rewards and the percentage of the split, which is really, really cool. Now, um, some people, like you see, want the 20% split, some people want the 50% split. It's up to you if you want to work together with these hunters. As you can see, some people are more experienced and they want to work together with you, but they want to do it for a little bit more of a cut. That's a possibility, of course. Some people might take less of a cut because they just want to work with somebody. So if you're just getting started, if you really want to work with somebody, you can create a collaboration. And there's different types of collaborations you can choose from. First of all, you can pick the platform, which are these four major platforms. Yes, I know there are more, but it's already amazing that these four are in here. Sorry about that, by the way. And the collaboration type. We can, for example, improve impact. If that's something we are interested in, then we select improve impact. And then we have to select which bug type we want to choose. Now, if we want to bypass specific security measures like WAFs or something like that, we can also specify a bug type. Or if we want to hunt on a public program together, we have to specify the bug bounty program name. Now guys, some tips I want to give you. Not every bug bounty program allows for collaborations. If they don't, make sure you check the scope page. It's always described on the scope page. Channel collaboration is also possible. Give a little bit of details there and a team invite if you're looking for hackers to join your team. You can enter some details an estimated total reward and a sharing percentage. Now, if you're just starting out and you just want to work with somebody else, I would put it a little bit higher, saying that you're giving the other person a little bit more of the cut. I know you want some of the cut as well, but take some for yourself and give the other person who's more experienced their fair cut. If you're more experienced and you just want to train people, you can always put this a little bit lower and people who really want to work with you are going to come to you. So it can act as sort of a filter. You can also leave it in the middle, 50-50, if you just want to work together with people of your experience level. Um, but you can also play around with it a little bit as you'd like, of course. Same for the listings and then you can have a shortcut to submit a listing again so amazing website if you guys are looking for a collaboration i would highly recommend that you go check this out 
I love it to death. Thank you so much for creating this. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Go visit this website. Link will be in the description. If you guys can't find it, it's findhunters.com. Not that hard. So go and enjoy these collaboration attempts, guys. Learn a lot. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye, amazing hackers. See you later.